Okay, here we have this problem. They want us to graph it. So it says include the asymptotes, the vertical and horizontal, and then at least two points on each piece. So, and they don't tell me how many pieces because that depends on how many vertical asymptotes you have. So let's go ahead and do this problem. So for the vertical asymptotes, we're going to take the denominator equal to zero. So we already get um, vertical asymptote at one. Okay. And then the horizontal asymptote, we have to compare. So the degree of the numerator the degree of a constant is zero. The degree of the denominator is a power of one. So we have the case where the numerator is less than the denominator, which means the horizontal asymptote is at y equals zero. So that would be right on top of the y-axis. Okay. And then now we got to come up with two points on each piece. So think of left and right or left, middle, right, things like that, okay? So I only have one vertical asymptote, so I have to get two points on this side and two points on that side. So I'm gonna make a chart here, and I'm gonna pick two points to the left, so negative one and zero, and I'm gonna pick two points to the right, which are two and three. And I'm just gonna plug those numbers into that function. So negative one store x, three over x minus one and I get negative 3 halves, which is negative 1.5. Now I'm gonna plug in zero, I should get negative three. Now I'm gonna plug in two, I get three. And then I get three halves, which is positive 1.5. So negative one and negative 1.5 Oops, wrong spot. There we go. And then zero and negative three, two and positive three. And then three and one and a half. And so remember, you cannot cross this, so you can't go that way. You have no choice but to go upward. And you can't cross this end either, so you have no choice but to trail off to the right. Same thing here, you can't go this way, so you have no choice but to go downward. And then you can't cross this dotted line, so you have no choice but to go to the right. And that's the graph. Now, for you and Alex, all you do is graph the asymptotes first. So you'll put a dotted line at one and a dotted line, um, a horizontal line at zero. Then you'll plot the points that we found, right? Two on this side, two on that side. And then you just hit the graphing icon. And so it'll graph the curves for you. You don't have to think on whether it goes up or sideways or what. It'll graph it already for you. Okay. Now let's try this one. So vertical asymptote is gonna be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna have a dotted line going this way. The degree of my numerator is zero. The degree of my denominator is one. I have the case where it's less, so it's automatically at y equals zero, which means there's a dotted line on top of the x-axis. And then I need to make a table. Now, this time my asymptote is at six, so I'm gonna pick two numbers to the left of six and two numbers to the right of six and plug those in. So, negative six over x minus six. And I get three. I get six. I get negative six. 
and I get negative three. So for four, I get three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. For five, I got six. And then for seven, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then for eight, I got negative three. And so all you do is graph the asymptote here, this asymptote there, and the two points. And hit the graphing icon and it'll draw it for you. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and draw it in. And there we go. And it actually should cross through this spot. I just kind of missed it when I was drawing it. But if you hit the graphing icon in the computer, it'll draw it all for you. Okay. Some more graphing. But it's the same stuff. It's just the functions look different. So find the vertical asymptote. And then find the horizontal asymptote. Since these are the same, you're going to have it at y equals the coefficient of the numerator over the coefficient of the denominator. So there are my asymptotes. So we have one, two, three. There's my vertical asymptote. Here's my um, y asymptote. Oh, that shouldn't be at zero. It should be at negative two. So it should be here, actually. And then now create your chart. So you have it at three, you can use one and two, four and five. So let's see what we get here. Two, nope, one stores x. Um, two x minus three over negative x plus three. I get negative one half or negative 0 0.5. Then two stores x, we get one, four stores x. We get negative 5, 5 stores x. We get negative 7 halves or negative 3.5. So let's graph it. 1 and negative 1.5 or 0.5. 2 and positive 1. 4 and negative 5. And then 5 and negative 3.5. So again, this is all you need to graph is the asymptotes and the two points on each side. And it will draw it for you. But I'm going to go ahead and connect the dots. Since I don't have a graphing button to graph it for me. So same thing here. Set your denominator equal to 0. And then compare your degrees. So it's the same. So it's the coefficient of the top over the coefficient of the bottom. And then create your chart. Since your vertical asymptote is 1 half, you can pick something like 0 and negative 1 to the left of a half. And then to the right of the half, you could pick 1 and 2. And let's see what we get if we pick those numbers. 0 stores x, fraction negative x plus 2, and the bottom, negative 2x plus 1. Negative 1 store x, we get positive 1. 1 stores x, we get negative 1, and we get 0. Okay. 
So let's graph it all together. We have one, so then our asymptote is at positive a half. Our y asymptote at, is at positive one half. Then our points, zero and two, negative one and one, positive one and negative one, and then positive two and zero. And so then that's all you need is the lines and the dots and it'll draw the curve for you. But here I'm gonna go ahead and draw it in. So not too bad, right? That's the end of module 32.